Good afternoon, my name is Fo on TF2 Tightrope.com Project Bet UK for an invitational tightrope session. Okay, you guys know me, so you know the drill. Mute me if you want to mute me. Um anyway, today we're in the group. Pretty much the rules are uh just bash them over the head in cat points, which is, you know, pretty much TF2 except um, no ranged weapons. Thought very few of them. In any case though, blew off to a reasonable start, capping both points at the same time. The fast, fast car on the roof there, keeping him busy actually, nice bit of work that. More concerned using the holiday punch there to great effect. Um, one of the most underestimated weapons actually that is. The other thing is you want to know about the uh, holiday punch is that it works through ubers. And this is why you shouldn't taunt. The best kid gets in there, gets two f easy kills. This is a quick game. This is a problem with the group, actually. It is so much um, stuff going on at the same time. Really hard to keep track of. But, anyway, I mean, look at this, though. It, um, yeah, Blue already on it. Nobody's noticed Fast Car except for um, Eboot using the, um, oh, the KGB being lethal with it as well. Okay, now Red have managed to hold the defensive line down. What they need to be doing is regain the roof a little bit with some archers and hold that main gate. If you can do that, you can kick them away from the red point. If you hold, if you're trying to stand on the point the entire time, what will happen is, is that it will, it might eventually get captured by sheer force of blue. Looks like uh, Eboot there is basically going for rage heavy and just trying to punch anything he can find. And then the best killer pretty much shuts that down. Ooh, Stefan M3134 there trying to get a backstab, quickie backstab in. Doesn't really achieve it too well. Eboot so far. Oh, we're seeing KGBs everywhere, but Eboot is master of this glove technique. He just somehow seems to get all the kills. And speed ham goes in there. Red are defending on the point. Now they've got to close up that gap. Looking good. Also, nobody has noticed Trotim. The other thing is, if I'm correct, there is a special uh, kukri in the tightrope server that allows you to go up the walls, if I'm correct. I'm not sure how. And time's up. Yeah, no, if I'm correct, maybe a bit old now. But anyway, red, nice work from red there, just pretty much defend the point from that. The Ascender, yes, and that's what it is. But, you know, Blue gets points pretty quick. Red didn't really return back to the point quickly enough. You know, they, they've let basically Blue just, you know, cap those points and get the time back. Also, the thing I'm liking at the moment, we're seeing a lot of heavies with KGBs running around. Oh, and that was a quick win. I didn't see that. Um, good work there from Blue. Just simply you know, storming in, storming in, more storming in. Round two. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's look at the classes. I know it's not a big deal, but we are seeing more heavies recently, simply because those KGBs have been incredibly effective. This is usually the end of the demo night, but... You know, this... Not entirely their game. There go the um, Buffalo Steak Sandwiches. Shanker Claws... That was never the best idea. Don't run into crits heavies. Blue team already in there. Trotim doing his best. Oh, nice double work there. Trotim goes in for the distraction. And basically, Sir Gary Luther finishes him off. That was excellent double team. But, yeah, all for naught. It seems that... Red be awe stricken and, and they are unable to defend their ramparts. They are now having to defend at the breach. 
They're assailed heavily and guarding their last point. Now Blue are trying to storm the main gate. But do they have enough courage? Do they have... Are they going to continue on? I think Blue for the time being, they need to storm in their pasture, but Red are playing a very good game. Now if Red defend their breach, if they... And there goes down the portcullis. Red have ruined Blue's plans and now ruined and Red have to go back there again and attempt to recapture those points. This should give Red a respite in which they should better rebuild their defences. Oh, and E-Boot still using those mighty gloves. Now Blue once more into the breach, dear friends. And there they go, heavy, the demo men, charging that main point. But at last, spies and treachery stop them. Now such hurly-burly on the point. Not seeing the jumping scout. This looks like to be all victory. And they are and they are done. Red have been defeated. Very good work from Blue. This is round the third. It's seeming that... Blue team are ever more storming castles and are unable to and red are unable to defend theirs. Now I would say as a precautionary measure that what blue need, red needs to be doing is to be vigilant upon their A and B points. Attempt to defend those mightier than they would see. If they could do that, they could actually hold out for a lot longer. Weather the siege. But it seems Blue have beaten them to the punch, quite literally, in certain cases. And Blue are already inside the keep, and Thief just standing there and capturing like a badass. It's not looking good for Red. This is their darkest hour. Blue are descending upon them, and they are having to defend desperately. There it goes. That was a quick win. Blue used haste. Red had naught of it. And they were soundly defeated. Round the fourth. It has been a consistent set of wins for Blue. They've been undefeated in the field of battle and Red have not seem seemingly created a countermeasure. As I spake before, Red needed to be vigilant upon their post all along the watchtowers and so forth. Now, Blue have already captured A. Are Red going to make some sort of stand on point B? Party Martin trying to use the KGB but falling afoul upon many Blue. And Blue have simply just stormed both perimeter points again. Red are unseemingly able to stop them. And the Slender Man is taking the point, but it's undone by a Divine Arrow from up on high. Pitomatic changing from his regular to be regularly pyro to now being a spy. Unusual behaviour from individuals such as he. But he's seemingly, you know, doing very well with the occupation he has now chosen. Scarred Miner attempting to cap. But Red are holding fast, but they are again in the same place as their forefathers were. They need to be defending the portcullis, the gate from the breach, and keeping on the battlements for a descending Demomen.
the portcullis comes down. This is where Red need to scramble upon the ramparts and down to the periphery points. They need to defend the outer points in order to defend the internal ones. The control point is being captured. Fast car there. A valiant attempt, but undone by sheer weight of numbers. The rest of Red are trying to cobble themselves together into a defensible force. But I find themselves again outnumbered at every turn. And Trotim using the other four caber. May did he turn the tables or is there not enough? Red may have actually put up a defensible defense. However, the dreaded E-boot and his mighty KGB have undone everything. And now they are back into desperation. And once again, Red are having to defend their last and ultimate point. There goes Eboot with his glowing gloves of destiny, destroying any incoming on the point. Nothing is seemingly stop stopping his destruction. And Blue win that. All thanks to Eboot. He should be saddled like a horse for his attempts to carry the team. The fifth. It has been seen that the blue team is undefeatable. The last red team, you know, proving much better than their previous counterparts and have been more successful. They may perhaps require more skill or valor. Either of which is good. Point A has been captured. Oh yeah, guys, I'm just wondering if the medieval commentary is fitting or just simply too confusing. There goes Trotim using the outer battlement. And to his advantage, and Blue have managed to scupper the plan and have managed to take that point. And Pitomatic in there, gaining two stabs. Red on the vital breach once more. It's looking grim once more for this team. They need to push out their borders and get get moving out there. They cannot sit back on their laurels and attempt to defend the point from there. They need to defend their perimeters. And then again, a lovely staff in that knave, Sir Gary Luther. The evil bunny takes on Nuki the medic while she was indisposed. This is the best time to do it. This is why you seldom ever taunt in such games. For fear of un for fear of lack of retribution. Port Colors comes down once more. Red have survived the day, but they need to reacquire their positions. If they can defend. Point B is the most defensible, and perhaps a stalwart defense there may save the day. Alert. The control point is being captured. Thief attempting, imitating the form of the whirling dervish, attempts to def attack the red troops. However, he's undone. And the evil bunny is thrown off the cliff. But blue, but red, however, are proving that their efforts are not in vain. They are turning the tide. Perhaps they can survive this day. Nice, nice work there from Adam Polk. Using the KGB once more, proving to be dangerous. Blue team has taken point B, it's now down to point A. Can red hold out for the longest of time? Alert. The control point is being captured. Balthazar is undone. Taken down by Thief on a shield bash. 
Now red once more. Need to man the gates and prevent them from coming inside. Red, however, may hold this game. 1 minute 27 on the clock. They can perhaps last this long. They ha we, there's promise in their movements. But there is Trotsim using the Fan of War. An irritating but ineffective instrument. One minute left on the clock. Could Blue win this point, perhaps? But no, it is looking up. Blue may have yet foiled the day. And they have. Blue team seeming undo all the tricks and defences of red.